Can you come back to me? Please? I got a pure crystal. What's your name on it? Come on. Come back. Come back. Come back. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Arc Survivor Evolved. Playing with the uh, ISO Crystal Isles Island mod and also the Eternal Arc Eternal mod. So, if you follow any of the ISO Crystal Isles mod, you'll know that the developer actually wiped his last map. So we lost everything. Anybody using that mod would lost everything unless they were able to upload some of their stuff to Anobolus. But uh, we weren't that fortunate. We didn't realize it was getting reset. And uh, yeah, we had to start over from scratch. So running uh, the new map, Boomin and I getting things back together. He built this little hut for us already. And uh, we tamed a few dinos. I'm going to go ahead and make myself some better armor while we talk a little bit and see and tell you what all we've got done so far so um, we were able to meet up he and I you know get our tribe going whatnot made a couple of rafts in order to come down here to the what was it the white sand white souls area the area where it's a little bit safer for us so excuse me we met up down here and by the time I got here he had already started get in a nice little temporary base place built and uh, let me squirt that in here just to get rid of it well transfer transfer he already started getting a nice little temporary base built some of the things see here's my raft that I made over here and I had started putting stuff on it in case I had died uh, in preparation and uh, met him up over this way and I ran out and started taming things. He tamed himself a trike. I found me a trike named Bubblegum, a uh, little 600. Uh, I found an Inky, 349. He just named Thumper. Um, and this is a pterodon that I was able to find, an early flyer, so Peter here. So There was some crystal dragons over in that direction. And from what I hear, they're passive tames now. And I thought... I heard that you have to use crystals in order to tame these things. So, if you have the regular crystal, it won't go on your hot bar. But these refined crystals will, the rough crystal, the pure, and the facet crystals, all those will go on your hot bar. So, I snuck up on one and it says you do have to put something in your hot bar to tame it. And I'm hoping that this is one of those things. See, got a nice little trike not too far from the base, elemental fire trike. 10,000 health. Oh, and this is a new new spyglass mod that we're using, Ultimate Spyglass. So, if you look at it, just in first person, uh, 10,080 health, uh, 71, well, 7,190.4 topar, the little O2 things is oxygen, of course, the lightning stamina, the hunk of meats is food, that's his melee percentage at 115% and he has a 6480 carry weight in the wild so and you, it also says that uh, his kibble would be a carno egg and it requires I guess one egg would probably insta tame him but he's a level 20 and you'll see that some of these other ones is that jaws? no that's a fire spinal egg will tame that guy um, something else I've seen somewhere there we go, Stego way over there. One Sarko egg would tame that guy over there. A Dillo egg would tame that guy. So it's got good range on it too. I mean, look at that Fomia way over there. Way over there. See, sometimes it says unknown. So the drag crystal dragons, I want to say it said unknown when I looked at them. Or crystal wyverns, I'm sorry. But I want to say it said unknown. So actually over this way. Let me fly over this little body of water here. But I want to see if I can't tame one. And I'm kind of curious how many crystals it, it takes. Because these crystals aren't easy to find. I, uh, I beat up a whole bunch of little blue crystals in this area. And that's all I was able to get. About 
12 to 15. See, two unknown. He's a 200. So, I wonder if that means it's two crystals. We might just tame him real quick to try it. Let's see. Let's see if we can't get up on him real fast and uh and tame him. He's got cool colors. I like his colors. Don't leave. Don't leave. No, come back. Uh, I got right up on the back of one without sneaking, so I don't think you have to be crouched and sneak up on him. Let's see if... uh Ah, look, there's one. Get hungry again? Most of the dinos are getting pretty hungry on here real fast with the, the taming that we have, but this guy here, he's he's taking a minute. So that's twelve and a half percent. You figure it's gonna take probably about eight? Seven. Seven times twelve would be eighty-four. So eight times twelve would be ninety-six. So probably about nine. Eight or nine. Can you get hungry again? Golly. Taking a good while, guy. Oh, wait, wait until it's hungry, wait until it's hungry, wait until it's hungry. Well, can you just get hungry? And I wonder, I wonder if different crystals do different percentages. So this one was 12 and a half. Don't go anywhere. Let's give him this pure one. That's probably a pretty good one. Let's see what it does. If he can get hungry. Are you hungry yet? I'm gonna keep following you around. No, wait until it's hungry. I probably should have put my pterodon on my shoulder. <clears throat> Come back to me. There you go. Land. Can you land, homie? Land, please. Just land. My pterodon's out there. Alright, he's safe. Isn't, I haven't really seen too many baddies in this area. I know the dragons will attack you if you attack them, but uh, although that did seem to be pretty docile, pretty calm. Right? When you land over there, oh, I thought you were going to land. Come on, land! Land and get hungry so I can tame you. He's got cool colors. He's only 200, it's not like he's high level. Can you come back down, please? You're killing my team, my team leader here. But there's no way to knock him out. I mean, we could knock him out, but it's a passive team now, so. Uh, that's one of the things he's changed. Oh man. Look at that guy up there. Can't even get to him. Come here, Peter. Get my back. Come on. They had one stuck in a tree earlier and I couldn't uh, find any crystals. Would have been nice to tame one that was stuck in a tree. I don't have to worry about them flying off like this. Can you come back to me? Please? I got a pure crystal. What's your name on it? Come on. Come back. Come back. Come back. I'm curious to see how much this would do. <clears throat> Are you landing? Oh, you tease. You land and then you pop back up. Can you land already? Please? Land? I'm sure you're hungry by now. I'm gonna go stand by the trees. Maybe he won't see me. <laughs> I think he's just having a hard time finding a spot to land in. Look at him, they're circling. We're about to go look at this bright yellow one over here. If this that's a that's a two forty. I will do it. That's a three forty. Oh, good God! If you're gonna be like that, you're, you're never gonna land. I'm gonna leave you alone. I'm gonna find somebody else who wants my treats. Let's see if we can find this guy here. I'm hoping I have enough. I mean, if I have to keep bouncing back and forth, this is gonna suck, but. Did he eat it? Yeah, he did. How much? How much taming? 
18.3. So yeah, that definitely did a lot more on a team. All right, so where's my other good crystals at? Hopefully, refine, facet, extra tasty, great treat, tasty treat. We're gonna give him this next. This was a higher level anyway, so let's waste our time on this guy, I guess. Cause this guy still hasn't landed. You come back down, guy. I mean, it's not like I can get up there and feed you. Oh, this sucks. I'm just waiting for these guys to come down. I tell you what, I'm gonna wait for these guys to come down. I'm gonna try to get some taming done on them. As soon as I get one tamed up. I'll be our beast. <clears throat> Alright, I'm back, guys. I had to show you this. So, I've only fed him one crystal. And he's still at that 18 whatever percent. Ah! He dropped me! He's gonna kill me. But I got underneath him, and he grabbed me. And he picked me up. I was flying around with him. I've been killing time this whole time, waiting for him to land and check on him, and looking at his health and his hunger, I mean. Let's see, where'd he go again? Lucif. There he is. So, I mean, his hunger's down to 28, 28, 2. So, I mean, he's getting, slowly getting hungry, but he's not eating crystals at all. So, let me see if I can get back in underneath him and he'll grab me again. That'd be cool if he did. And I was underneath him, underneath his feet when he took off. Ah, come back. I was right up in here. Oh, he didn't grab me that time. But y'all saw it. He grabbed me. I was flying around with him. It was kind of cool. I gotta be careful about this water. I don't know what's over here. But he's still not hungry. So, I don't know what he's gonna get down to, but he was all the way up to 10 4 when I fed him that last time. He's down to 97 92. And he's still not wanting to eat. Now, this guy's at 340. He's even higher. Uh, this is really taking a long time. It's almost not worth it. Maybe I'm just too too used to mod it and getting too impatient, but Well, I found where it'd be the, nice um, if we just knock them out. The actual but dragons are. I'll be right back once I find uh find out some more information and get one of these guys down. Alright, All right, one more and he's mine, guys. Uh, it is taking a minute, that's for sure. So, the first crystal, it took forever for him to get hungry again. I, I don't know if I can see his health. Oh, there he goes, hunger. His hunger was all the way at 10,400. It wasn't until it got before, below 9,400 that he got hungry again. And then he finally ate. And then it seemed like after that, he would eat a lot faster, but the problem is he does this stupid stuff. It's like he feeds, or he'll come down for a brief moment, and then he'll go right back up, and then he'll come down, and then he'll go right back up, and then he'll come down, and then he'll go right back up. There'll be times where he'll come down and fake like he's gonna land, then he goes right back up. So I played a whole lot of chasing. Could this be it? See, he faked, went right back up. Uh, one more. Come on, just land. Can I get there in time? Uh, you were finally mine. <laughs> I got one. Uh, so that took a minute. Definitely took a minute. What am I going to name this guy? Um, should name him Pain in a Butt. That's what we should name him. Alright, there we go. Uh... Alright, oh, I didn't mean to capitalize that. Alright, can we ride? Yeah, we can ride without a saddle. Good. Alright, so he tamed out at 359. Looking at the statisticals 14,906.3 health. Stay on mocks, nobody cares. Weight's only 880, though. That's, that's low for a flyer. I had to pump that up. 
melee at 455, movement speeds at 100%. So if these are like the same uh, crystal wyverns before they did the mat reset, at 100% speed, these guys were actually pretty fast. So that's normal speed, and that's sprinting. So it's not crazy fast, but it's not bad. Turn radius isn't the best. See, that's his turn radius. So it's a little bit of a wide turn. What about landing? Landing? Alright, so typical Wyvern landing mechanics. How much damage does it do? 205, so yeah. Damage is not a thing with these guys. Can you keep up with the Pterodon even guy? Come on now. He's supposed to have a... F yeah, he has a flame attack. I thought he did. So the other ones was just a, a bite, and that's all that they had on the on the previous uh, mod that this uh, mod I had before he did the update, so to speak. It was just a bite, and that's all they could do. Now, so C's now his pickup. Before it was left click was bite, right was pickup. So he has no X, but he has a breath attack. How much does that do? Does it do damage? That looks cool. It should do damage. Yeah, it does some damage. I can take these guys on with him. Not too bad. So, that was what, 205, I think? Let's let's get a base dino. Let's go attack this Fomia here. See what we're doing against a 205. Light him on fire! Get him! Oh, he has a... Oh, that fire takes some stamina, man. Okay, that far takes a lot of stamina. Let's do this. Let's do. Let's get melee up a little bit. We're definitely gonna get weight up. So we got melee up to 615. Let's see what melee does at 615. So these guys here are aggressive when you hit them now, so they'll fight back. So we're at 276. So you need to call his buddy. You know what? There you go. Get some of that. That worked out pretty good. So for basic dinos, we could probably kill a good bit of stuff with this guy. What? Oh, so he's got milk on him. That's I'm gonna put that in a refrigerator for sure. Nine hours. All right. We can drop some of this meat. We can get rid of that. Get rid of that. Let's split this stack in half. Or just give it to me, and we'll drop that. So, all right. So health. Yeah, let's get up to 20k health at least. The stamps up good? Yeah. Oh, he's so happy. Look at that. So happy. Let's see if we can get another level and see how much of a speed boost he would get from one tick. So, let's attack this guy. Let's light him on fire. And then we'll. It's like a combo. Light him on fire, then you kill him. Alright, so let's see. Oh, you can't pump movement speed on this guy. So, the pterodons on this server, we can pump movement speed. This guy, you can't. It's just a base 100%. Lame. Okay. So, um, carry weight for sure. Oh, that, I think that said other drink I was taming. I got bored, so I started taming a second one. And I want to say it was this guy. If he's level 100, it might be him. No, he's 140. That's not him, I don't believe. He looks cool, though. <clears throat> Was this guy him? Level 100, maybe? No, no, that's a 380. Definitely not him. Was that him way over there? Let's go over there and see. Because he had like a light blue underbelly. I remember that much. Is that you? No, that's a level 40. I don't know where that guy went. Level 20. Interesting. So, if you look at crystal-wise, um, I want to say the the refined one was doing over 12%, maybe more. What about you, buddy? Uh, holy, that would take forever to tame, though. 760. 
take forever to tame unless we figure out there's, unless there's a proper way to tame these guys I just don't know it but that would take forever a 7 6 7 20 oh my god wish we could just knock these guys out like we used to be able to obtain those in a heartbeat what about you 220 uh, Boomer was saying that he found uh, a cave in an area that's kind of desert like reminiscent of uh, scorched earth and um, they have the the classic See this guy right here, level 80, fire trike. We might get him. He's got a lot of health, but it's the classic poison drinks and lightning drinks over there. So I'm assuming those you're gonna do the same way, and you're gonna. Uh, I don't have a pin. Darn, I don't have a taming pin made up yet. Like I was thinking about the old server I had a taming pin, but I, I assume that those drinks you would do taming wise uh, the same way that you did the uh, on scorched earth. You know, you could trap them and knock them out and um, tame them that way but let's see um, I wish I could find that level 100 because I put one of these faceted crystals in him and I want to say it was only doing like you know 12 or 16 percent on this guy but on that one at level uh, 100 it did like 30 percent so um, it did a ton. Oh, that's a lot of pearls right there. I want to collect that real quick since I'm here. It did a ton of uh, taming on the lobby, so you know I could probably squirt this one crystal on that guy there. That's a uh, was a level twenty or forty, level sixty. I could probably squirt one in there, and he'd be almost tamed with one crystal. Yeah, we're gonna need these, so. Uh, any bad hombres around here? I don't see anybody. That would suck if I died right now. But Drake would probably die too in the process. So. But, uh, I, I kind of need to get booming one. We could get another community one, I guess. Like a backup. You see, the, the bad part was is that Boomin tamed. Um, I want to say it was like two lower level ones. And he had a pretty decently high level one. It was over a thousand, so I think he tamed it out at like 900, so it was like probably around seven ish when he tamed it. And then the bonus levels was over nine, so he had over a thousand on that uh, Drake. No, I'm not, I'm fine. And uh, we lost all that. Well, it died on him, but the fact that we couldn't get another one before the server reset. And, been nice. I, I wonder if we would have been able to upload that. Oh, I won't be on much longer. Just and then uh, see if this thing download it here and if it would have got out. the update. If it does, awesome. If not, fuck it. What's that? I gotta be at work in like, at work in like four hours. Yeah. What you trying to do though? I, I don't want to tell you unless it works. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got you, got you. Alright. Q, I'm, uh, I got my Drake and I'm contemplating taming it. Ah! The breath attack, the fire attack, it does like uh, AOE damage or, or, you know, a dot damage time over time. And uh, his bites no better than what the other ones were. So damage wise, they're not doing any more. But, um, I mean, this, this 300's got over 20k health now. I think I tamed out with like 14. So. What does damage does it do? Like on a bite? Like 200 and something. On a non-armored, you know, hot low defense animal. Like the fire in this stego is doing 61 and his bite's doing 185. Ooh, almost bit that Drake on oh, accident. Nice. That wouldn't have been cool. What level are you, homie? <laughs> level 20. You know what? I'm gonna tame that guy just to do it. But I can tame it with one crystal. He'll be a a community utility Drake might be able to get him to go fetch dinos and oh let's see if I can get to him in time so he landed can I get to him can I get to you oh you didn't tame out instantly that sucks 60% though all right let me put a rough crystal on my thing how long before you're hungry again no right, he's gonna be a minute 
I wonder if there's a way I could trap these guys and they be stuck instead of them flying around everywhere. There's some 720s. I saw a 720 and like a 7 something. But that would take forever doing a passive team, man. See, that's a 40. I got the one I want. Need to make a saddle for it. Oh, you did one of the uh, the old school ones? No. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I didn't want to risk getting killed over that shit. Fuck that. That was <laughs> horrible. Well, I have to build a, uh, a classic uh, wyvern pin. pin. Gaming pin. Yeah. This guy's got... Down. Just not tonight. Yeah. I'm not going to be on much longer either. I got to crash here in a minute. They got wyvern on... A wyvern milk on the one I just tamed, so... I'm going to put that in the... The preserving bin for sure. I might see if I can't get a, a cheap generator up and then I want to say Arc Automation has a freezer that like has ex like extends like the shelf life of stuff crazy like. So if I could put milk in there that would be amazing. I remember it took organic polymer that would be like eight hours in your inventory and refrigerator is like I wanna say it was like uh six days or eight days. You put it in the freezer it was like sixty something days on the timer. I like it. Yeah. So uh, that might be a thing that I get done tonight before I log. But yeah, let me know what you're doing if it's if you're successful. And uh I'll I'll successful I just need to um a thing for it. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Don't know if I have what I need. <clears throat> they had a fire trike out here and I was about to pick it up and bring it back to the base and then I remembered that we don't have the taming pen anymore. So I was like, oh, damn. You wouldn't happen to have a dino heart, huh? Uh, negative. So if you need a dino heart, you probably got either an alpha or a prime. Nah, prime you would need a special taming food. You got an alpha? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I'll call it right. And we're back, guys. So, back at the base, we put our pterodons inside. But this is what Boomin wanted up taming. And, uh, we called it Alfalfa. But it's an Alpha pterodon. So, looking at his level 127, that thing's got about 24,000 health. 230% uh, melee damage, but we don't know what that number actually is going to equate to yet because we don't have the dino heart that we need to make the saddle. Hmm, excuse me. And once that happens, then he'll be able to test out the damage that this thing does. But it starts off with almost 4,000 carry weight, so that's good. And you can pump movement speed on it, so you won't have to worry about the flyer nerf. And um, everything else stat wise looks pretty decent, so it'll be interesting to see what, what this thing can do. Um, to get big damage, it might be alphas and eternals, and uh, some of these other guys that they have out there that we're gonna have to go with. So, there's an eternal donkey out here, which I may want up taming just because we do need some type of water dino in order to get down there and get oil because that's gonna be a thing soon. But, um, other than that, let's see. I did tame a second dragon at level 20 that I started. I finished it off and brought it back so it's going to be the community community dragon so to speak. And then uh, flame shock's still up there. But not much else is, uh, has been done differently. We did got a basic base started, got a few starter dinos. Um, I've actually pumped his health, that's why he's all bloody. But uh, bubblegum here up to 15k and it's slowly regenerating. That's one of the things that we notice on this server too is that health regenerates very slow in these dinos. So a little dino aid might be the thing to keep with us so we can regenerate health really fast but not too bad. I went ahead and put this down. I was going to try to go ahead and craft maybe the refrigerator but as I was crafting I was like I bet I'm going to need polymer, I bet I'm going to need electronics and sure enough I do. So. That means that he's fabricator, we're gonna need some other power, that means we have to get oil, 
We're gonna have to get some obsidian for polymer or fine organic polymer, one or the other. Uh, silica pearls aren't really an issue uh, at the moment. I was able to find a ton of silica pearls out there just laying around, so I was grabbing them as I could, grabbing everything I could. And I made this right here, the the fall uh, faux GTFO. You know. But it that horrendous fall comes in. You can barely see. You put that down, and it takes it away. So that's nice. But I think that's going to be it for today, guys. I'm going to wrap up the episode there. Um, if you enjoyed the episode, again, smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe. Share the videos you see fit. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.